William Davis Garwood, Jr., was an American stage and film actor and director of the early silent film era in the 1910. Between 1911 and 1913, Garwood starred in a number of early adaptions of popular films, including Dane Eyre and The Vicar of Wakefield, Lorna Doon, The Pied Piper of Hamelin, David Copperfield, The Merchant of Venice, and Little Dorrit, and Robin Hood. In total, he starred in more than 150 short and feature films. Early Life William Davis Garwood, Jr., was born in Springfield, Missouri. He attended public schools in Springfield before moving to New Mexico at the age of 15. He moved back to Springfield to attend Drury College, where he was awarded prizes for his abilities in dramatic reading and literature. While at Drury, Garwood ran the 100-yard dash in 10.20 seconds and also played on the football team. His father hoped that he would follow a career in metallurgy and secured a position for his son with his ink company in Joplin, Missouri but Garwood pursued acting instead. Career. Early years Garwood began his acting career in 1903 for $3.50 per week with the Lakeside Theatre at Elitcher's Gardens in Denver. For two years, he worked odd jobs in addition to taking minor stage roles with the stock company, which at the time included such players as Maud Feely, Bruce McRae, Douglas Fairbanks and Edward Mackey. After living in Denver for two seasons, he moved to New York City in 1905 where he worked with Virginia Harnard, after which he joined the Froman management in the original production of Mitzpah. Later, he was with Curl Bellew in Brigadier Gerard and with S. Miller Kent in Raffles. Between productions, he worked with a number of stock companies including those at the Alcazar Theatre in San Francisco and the Auditorium Theatre in Chicago. Among his appearances on stage, Garwood considered his work with Dustin Farnham in The Traveling Company of Cameo Kirkby to be one of his early career highlights in stage acting. This was his last appearance on stage prior to his debut in films. Films and directing In November 1909, Garwood joined Thanhauser Company in New Rochelle, New York and was seen in his first Thanhauser film by 1910. He departed from Thanhauser in the autumn of 1911, by which time he was one of the studio's most popular actors. He returned in June 1912 after a season on the stage with the Stubbs Mackay Stock Company playing roles in The Prisoner of Zender, Mills of the Gods and other plays at the Southern Theatre in Columbus, Ohio during his hiatus from the screen. On April 30, 1913, the Thanhauser Company relocated from Los Angeles to New York, but Garwood remained behind in the same studio in Los Angeles which was acquired by Majestic Motion Picture Company and became, with Franchelia Billington and Fred Mace, one of three featured stars in the new Majestic films. On March 21, 1914, Garwood moved from Majestic to American Studios, in which he starred with Vivian Rich under the direction of Sidney Ayres. In his first film at the American Studios, Goward left American Studios after eight months and signed a two-year contract with Universal Film Manufacturing Company in late May 1914. Garwood's first picture for Universal was On Dangerous Ground, released in 1915. By this time, Garwood's popularity had risen and he became a popular leading man with a sizable female fan base. During this time, he worked exclusively with a popular actress of the time, Violet Merceru, with whom he starred in a number of short films. They worked together in many one real comedy film that year, including You Can't Always Tell, Destiny's Trump Card, Uncle's New Blazer, The Adventure of the Yellow Curl Papers, Wild Blood and The Supreme Impulse. During his time at Universal, Goward also starred as the title character in Lord John in New York. Based on the short story by A.M. Williamson, the film proved to be popular with audiences and Goward starred in four more Lord John films over the following months. Goward remained with Universal, where by 1916 he had moved in directing and was one of several dozen directors at Universal City, California. In December 1916, he signed with KB Pictures. 
In 1917 Garwood starred in the films A Magdalene of the Hills and The Little Brother. For the next two years he was involved in many films both in acting and directing, including acting for Ince and the author's film company. He appeared in the 1919 film Wives and Other Wives and both directed and acted in the 1919 Universal Picture, A Proxy Husband, which was to be his last screen appearance. Personal life. Garwood was a lifelong bachelor and had no children. Interests and hobbies in the early summer of 1913, when he was acting in the majestic film The Toy, Garwood began a lifelong love of farming and cultivation, particularly of onions, and began cultivating on a commercial basis on an onion patch on the farm of actor Irving Cummings in his spare time from film. He was also a fervent vegetarian. Goward owned several properties. He owned a large ranch near Los Angeles along with seaside lots. He also purchased farm land in Santa Barbara. In 1914 he purchased a six-room bungalow in Whittier, California and oversaw three acres of irrigated crops. In addition to real estate and gardening, Goward was interested in geology an interest which remained through his life created by his father from a young age and he spent many weekends in the pursuit of mineral specimens. He was also an avid motor racer, later years and death. By the late 1910s, Garwood's career began to falter because of his chronic alcoholism. He made his final screen appearance in 1919's A Proxy Husband, which he also directed after which he retired. Goward reportedly lived off of the fortune he made through various investments. On December 18, 1950, William Garwood died of cirrhosis due to alcoholism in Los Angeles at the age of 66. Selected Filmography